Hi everyone, welcome to AB Homemaker, a space where we are just gonna share some homemaking ideas, some tips, also talk about a few things um, in growing and becoming the best versions of ourselves. My name is Adrienne, welcome. Today we're just gonna talk about a few recipes. I'm gonna take you guys along on my cooking adventures, just some things that I like to try and work out um, in the kitchen. We're also gonna be going over a few ideas, things that I've been journaling on, reflecting on as I'm in this process of continuous growth and evolution. So today we are going to try a super simple recipe. It is a creamy kale and mushroom pasta. This is a dish that I normally make with pearled couscous, but today we're gonna to switch it up and use some bow tie pasta just because I think it's fun. And in the journaling and reflection part of what we're gonna be talking about, today that I'm just gonna throw in there. Um, in remixing this recipe and trying out something new, it really had me thinking about, it's 2019, new year, new me, all of the resolutions. And as we continue to grow and try and change and alter ourselves to become the best version of ourselves, it can sometimes be difficult to take the new us into old spaces. Um, so that's something that we're gonna be tackling a little bit later, but for right now, we're gonna work on this recipe. I do wanna say and be transparent, I'm not a professionally trained chef. I am <laughs> not um, anybody's cook. I just like to eat, like to try out new things. So as you're looking at these recipes, they are provided with the spirit of flexibility. So try out something, if it works, if you wanna add a little bit of this, take something away remix it let me know in the comments what you did and how that worked out for you i'm always here for trying out new things and hearing new suggestions but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started with this recipe mushroom mixture um, it's simmering I have the pasta currently boiling so when that's done everything can be mixed together and we'll have a yummy dish um, but I just wanted to take a few moments and jump back into our previous subject of how to bring the new you into old spaces and so I know most of us are consistently working on stretching on growing on the self-help 
um, podcasts, self-help books, doing our self-care, just working on how to evolve into the most efficient and full versions of ourselves and who we were created to be. And in that journey, there are different levels, there are different stages to that. And we grow, we evolve, we shed old things, we let go of some things. And that can be really challenging as we go into, while we are growing and while we're changing, some of the things around us are staying the same. And that goes for some friendships, from relationships, family, work um, relationships, church, volunteering. There are so many spaces where we might be consistent, but the spaces around us have changed. And so I have taken some time to think about it. I've been journaling about it. And I've got three tips that I feel like really help help me when I'm trying to move into some of those old, old spaces. Three things that really help me to stay focused on moving me, the new me, into new spaces. Here we go. Okay, so tip one, own it. Own the fact that you're growing and that some of your positions on things have changed. Yes, I've said that. Yes, that's been something that was fun at one point in time. That's where I was, but I have new experiences. I've learned new things. I've grown some. And now the lens that I see life through has changed. It's adjusted. And I have a new stance. I have a new perspective. And you're correct. Things have changed. So when people bring that up to you, that change has occurred, they're right. And go ahead and let them know, yes, that was then and this is now. Hi, <laughs> this is the new me. Um, the second thing I would say is do some evaluations. I would look at what are the spaces, what are the relationships that you're dealing with that you're um, trying to work into, the new you into. I would look at, is this something that you need to be a part of? Is this something that is a requirement? Is it a situation where maybe you were really close at one point in time and had no boundaries, but the new you and the new space that you're walking into might require you to have some things that you keep a little bit more closely guarded to yourself. Or maybe this person fit so well with you before because they were attached to things, the, the old parts of you that you don't have anymore. And while there's some remnants of you still available, the things that they love, the things that you connected on, you just aren't interested in anymore. So I would go through, I would do some evaluation, see if maybe there's some shifting in relationships or in spaces, or maybe there's something a space that you've loved that you just no longer need anymore. Where it was great then, but this is now, and maybe there are just some adjustments that are needed. So the third thing, that would be be bold. Own it. You're growing, you're coming into a new person. It can be scary, it can be challenging, it's thrilling and it's fun and it's all of these emotions at one time. And while you're going through this transition, the people around you are also going through a transition. And sometimes because it can be scary for them to lose something that they've been familiar with or part of you that has been so familiar to them, it will want, make them want to challenge the new you or try and hold you hostage to who you were when they met you. And you don't have to allow that. You can own and really walk in this new version of you, excited, ready to take the next step, see what's coming, making sure that everything that is in your life is aligned with not only who you are now, but who you are focused on becoming. And be excited about it. Own it, growth, developing, becoming the best versions of ourselves. It's so exciting. So I would say be bold as you move forward into the new version of you. So those are my three tips to number one, own it. Number two, do some evaluations, assess some things in your life. And three, I would say be bold as we all continue to grow and transition into the new us.